What's good YouTube, it's your boy Brian the Karate here and I'm back here with another video and this is crazy, I know you guys heard the crazy news last week after the All-Star game, Anthony Davis has a new teammate and his name is DeMarcus Cousins, one of the best centers in the game right now and he's teamed up with one of the best power forwards in the game right now. Anthony Davis dropped 52 points in the All-Star game and that's a... That's a scoring record right there. Nobody has ever done that in an All-Star game. And Anthony Davis has scored half of 100. More than half of 100 points. And now he's teamed up with DeMarcus Cousins. That is crazy. You know, um, it did take a lot to get DeMarcus Cousins. It took a first-round pick, which could have been Josh Jackson. Tyreek Evans, pretty good small forward. And it took a couple of other players. I don't remember their names to get DeMarcus Cousins so if you ask me if it's a win for the Kings I would say yes because they have a high chance of getting DeMarcus Cousins or a better player because you know the New Orleans Pelicans are going to do pretty trash this season even if they have DeMarcus Cousins because even after the DeMarcus Cousins trade DeMarcus Cousins lost his first two games as a New Orleans Pelican. It was sort of a win-win situation because DeMarcus Cousins the top center in the game it's with the top power forward in the game. They're teammates now. And the Pelicans have a chance to rebuild around both of those awesome, amazing players. You know, DeMarcus Cousins is only 26 years old. Anthony Davis is only 24 years old. So you can, you can do something around these two. You know, you can build around these two. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to keep building until we win a championship. Let's get it. Alright, so you guys can see this is after the draft. We're in the offseason right now. And our record was 34 and 48. We're ninth in the conference. That's not, not too bad. And, you know, just missed the playoffs. And this is our roster, as you guys can see. And I, I really wanted to get either a, a Dennis Smith, like I always do, or a Lonzo Ball. And you know what I'm going to try to do? I'm going to try to push for Lonzo Ball. Because I, I, I traded all of my players for... For picks and hopefully I can trade all of these picks and get Alonzo Ball alright so Alonzo Ball is paying for this young Timberwolves team you know Alonzo Ball teamed up with uh, Carl Anthony Towns and Andrew Wiggins Levine Ricky Rubio this is a pretty good pretty young team and now Alonzo Ball is added on to this future dynasty but no we gotta we gotta try to get him we got to try to get Lonzo Ball, and this is what we're going to try to do. Look at all these picks that I traded to get. And these are mostly 2019 picks. So what we're going to try to do, we're going to try to get them. All right, so we're giving them a lot of 2019 picks just for Lonzo Ball. We lit! Yes, please. And they agree. Let's get it. The Minnesota Timberwolves. You know, they took like one, two, three, four, six, six picks. So they're going to be set in 2019. But I believe we could win the championship before 2019. I'm trying to win it next season. And that's what we're going to try to do. So now Alonzo Ball is teamed up with the Marcus Cousins and Anthony Davis. What a, what a rookie year is going to be for Alonzo Ball. That's crazy. All right, so we have $48 million to spend. And that's... That's enough money to get two two stars. Wow, so we can't get Stephen Curry, Aww. Gordon Hayward, and most of these other guys. Aww. That sucks. But we can get ourselves a Chris Paul. Let's get it. 92 overall Chris Paul and JJ Reddick. So we take two Clippers players, and that's pretty good. You have a Chris Paul. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I have Lonzo Ball. I don't need... I don't think I need a J.J. Reddick. If I put Lonzo Ball as shooting guard, I don't think I need a J.J. Reddick. And I don't think I'll be needing a Deion Waiters, but we're going to pick him up anyways. All right, so let's see what happens if we try to trade Chris Paul. Actually, 
Can we make a flip? What can we get out of Chris Paul? Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Alright guys, so the reason why I was even talking through all of that because I wanted to see what can happen if I trade Chris Paul and it was pretty good. It was a pretty good investment. I get Anthony Davis, the Marcus Cousins, Jimmy Butler, Clay T I get a Jimmy Butler. I, I switched his position from shooting guard to small forward. So now his uh, overall went up one. So I get a Jimmy Butler and I get a Clay Thompson. Well, I already had Clay Thompson, but I get a Jimmy Butler. So that is pretty cool. And um, I know I traded a lot of good players to get Jimmy Butler, but I tried to get James Harden or another 90 overall superstar. I tried to get um, Paul George, but they, they would have accepted. But it doesn't even matter. So once this chemistry go up, his overall is going to be a 90, and that's going to be crazy. It's going to be better than a Paul George deck. So our starting five is just young and talented. Alonzo Ball, Klay Thompson, Jimmy Butler, DeMarcus Cousins, and the Anthony Davis. And our bench is not... That's not the worst bench in the world. You have Michael Beasley, Spades. I don't know who this guy is. Magruder, Charmin, Splitter, uh, Cole, Vitz, Carter is finally going to win his first ring. Derek Williams and Akayo Korver. So this is a great... And look, we still have we still have $209,000 to spend. Our sal that's our salary cap. That is just crazy. That's phenomenal. That is phenomenal. And I believe this young, talented team is going to the finals i swear i we have to we have a great team we got to make it to the final and it looks like we're going to have the first seed in the conference this is crazy and lonzo ball dropping 21 points per game and then and 10 assists per game that is just crazy it's a good thing i traded chris paul and i got back um actually i it's a good thing i traded chris paul Cause this is just a, uh, this is just amazing. We, this is such a huge flip. We had a 34 and 48 season. Now we have a 61 and 21 season the following year. This is just amazing. Let's check out the stats. Lonzo Ball, 21 points. He's, he's the one that's scoring the most on this team. And we still have a pretty solid team. Look at our starting five. They all. They're all averaging 15 points or higher. That is just crazy. This is crazy. This has to be the best rebuild I have ever done. I have four, four 90s on one team. And this guy's going to be, he's on his way to being a 90 overall. So this is just amazing. Look at the bench. The bench are close to 80s. This is crazy. This is magnificent, and we have to. We have to win the finals. We just got to. We're going to the finals. I told you. I told you. What a rebuild, guys. We're going to the finals. It was a cra super crazy, unrealistic offseason. And um, we are going to the finals. We are going to meet the Chicago Bulls. And we gave the Chicago Bulls a pretty good team. You know, we traded, you know, just for Jimmy Butler. We gave him a Rudy Gerber. We gave him a, a, a Saul Whiteside, Andre Drummond, and a Tobias Harris. You know, that's, that's you know, that's pretty, that's four really good players for a Jimmy Butler, which I think it's crazy that I'm saying this, but I think it was worth it. It really was worth it because we don't really need a Hassan Whiteside or a, a Hassan Whiteside or an Andre Jumman when we already have a Demarcus Cousins and an Anthony Davis, and um, we didn't need a Rudy Gerber either, and a Tobias Harris. 
you know, I'd rather Jimmy Butler over Tobias Harris. I don't really care much about Tobias Harris. So I think it was a pretty good trade for me. And it was an awesome trade for them because they have an amazing, you know, starting five. And they also have Dwayne Wade on that team. So it's going to be a crazy finals. So here we have it. The New Orleans Pelicans. Right after the huge DeMarcus Cousins trade. A year later, made it to the NBA Finals. And they're up against the Chicago Bulls. We have a pretty good team because of me. Let's see what's going to happen in game one. We take game one, and I'm pretty sure we're taking game two. Pretty sure we're taking game three. Oh, they take game three. Oh, we take game four. Let me see what happened in game three. Why would oh, why did we lose? Why did we lose game three? And what? We only scored 65 points in game three? That is crazy. Damn. That is crazy. But anyways, it is time for us to win the finals at home. Let's go. Let's go. This is one of the best rebuilds ever. Yep, there's no way they can come back. They're trying their best to come back, but it's not going to happen. Yeah, it's not going to happen. So we have won the finals in a off of crazy ass trade. And we did it. The New Orleans Pelicans win the finals. We defeat the shot. Obviously, we're going to beat the Chicago Bulls. We beat them in game five and we won it in New Orleans. This is crazy. Lonzo Ball, Clay Thompson, Jimmy Butler, Anthony Davis, and Demarcus Cousins. That is just amazing to have those five players as your starting five on your team. This this is a group of young, talented guys. Um, some of them been in the league for a while now. Lonzo Ball is the only rookie. The only this is his rookie year. And he wins his first NBA ring already. This is crazy. Such an amazing offseason, guys. This has to be the best rebuild I, ha I have ever done. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. I'm out.